Hello everyone. In honor of Black History Month, I thought I'd talk about the Boondocks. I had the pleasure of watching the show in its entirety in July last year. It was pretty good. Except for Season 4. Not only was the Boondocks hilarious, but also action-packed and provided some rather sharp social commentary. Sure, the show was blunter about where it stood, but the execution of the message was brilliant. For example, the kickball episode was an allegory for war, and the episode where Robert opens his own restaurant is an allegory for the introduction of drugs to communities. Then there are some episodes that reveal a lot of things when you look into them, such as the topic for today's video, the BET episodes. Now I should note, I do not watch BET or any of its programs. But based on what I heard, the majority of the target demographic hates BET. Aaron Magruder, the creator of the Boondocks, being one of them. So much so that he had jabs at BET in season one. Black entertainment television is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But come season two, the Boondocks went on to full attacks. And there is a bit of backstory. If you've watched the opening for the first two seasons of The Boondocks, you'll notice a man, Reginald Hudlin, credited as an executive producer. Despite this, Hudlin has no involvement with the show. He only helped Aaron Magruder with the original comics, and was involved with the unaired pilot that was pitched to Fox. Hudlin is only credited for contractual reasons. While the full details haven't been revealed, what we do know is that Hudlin went to work with BET. Aaron didn't take this too kindly, which is reflected in the show. Here, Black Entertainment Television, or in the case of the Boondocks, Black Evil Television, is intent on destroying the Black community. Our leader, Bob Johnson, had a dream. A dream of creating a network that would accomplish what hundreds of years of slavery, Jim Crow, and malt liquor couldn't. The destruction of Black people! Yo, sister. Is that so hard? The CEO of BET is Deborah Levi, a caricature of Deborah L. Lee, the real-life CEO of BET, with some Dr. Evil and Cruella DeVille mixed in. In the first BET episode, Hunger Strike, Hugh takes action against BET, threatening not to eat. He gets help from Rollo Goodlove, but it turns out Rollo isn't interested in helping Huey's cause, and only wants the publicity. The episode ends with Rollo getting his own show on BET. With the knowledge of Aaron and Reginald's falling out, one can interpret Huey representing Aaron standing against BET, and Good Love representing Reginald selling out to BET. But it doesn't end there. The second in command of Black Evil Television is Wedgie Rudlin, a culturally insensitive buffoon and yes man to his superiors. Ruckus, we have a saying at BET. We hate black people, and I know you share that same sentiment, but I've learned how I can use my blackness against the black race. Look at BET. He is a clear caricature of Reginald Hudlin. So yeah, it looks like Aaron took things personally with Reginald joining BET. Anyway, that's all I have to say. What do you think? Feel free to let me know in the comments.